Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is my declutter series. I want to welcome you to it. We are going to be doing a quick intro on this series and then we're going to get right into today's video. If you've already seen this introduction, that means that you have been watching my other declutter videos. The intro is going to be the same for every single video, so if you've already seen it, feel free to skip ahead. I do want to intro why I'm doing this declutter series a little bit and give you a little background on it and how we're going to go about it because it's different than just getting rid of makeup that I don't use. There's a very specific method behind this. So I just finished reading The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. This is a book that details out the KonMari method, which is Marie Kondo's method. It is her last name, a combination of her first and last name, KonMari method. And basically, this book tells you how to put your house in order. It's something that I've been really thinking about for a long time, but every time I see the book, I would get really overwhelmed. And so finally, I decided to do it. So this declutter series is all about getting rid of things that do not bring me joy. Now. I am a makeup collector, it is my passion, it is part of my job, and I love makeup. It brings me a lot of joy, but there's so much in my collection that I could not possibly use. You may have watched my declutter series from last year where I discarded an absolute ton of makeup, and this time it's a much smaller collection but still huge for any one person. I didn't need this much makeup, and so when we're decluttering it, I'm pretty cutthroat with it. If it doesn't bring me joy, it goes. All of this makeup, if it was heavily used and not able to be donated, it has been being tossed, or if it was expired, it's being tossed. If it's able to be donated, lightly used, or hasn't been used, um, I am dona donating it to women's shelters. That is a quick little intro. I am doing a Project Zero, if you're watching this, in the month of May for 30 days of no spending on wants. And it's about appreciating the things that we have, learning to love the things we have, and not always looking for the next thing that we want, buying the next new thing. And I'm doing it through a Facebook group. So if you want to join that, I will have it below. We have over 100 members of it. It's so fun. We're supporting each other. We're all kind of doing it together. It's a really good time. We do daily challenges. And it's kind of like leading our own version of a minimalist life, which to me is not a minimalist life. I call it my Abby minimalist life. I want to live with less stuff that I feel like I don't need. So anyway, that's the story on the decluttering. I hope that you guys enjoy this series. I will be talking more about the KonMari method in upcoming videos. You're going to see a whole before and after house tour because I did the entire house, not just my makeup. In fact, my makeup was the last thing that I decluttered because I knew it would be the most emotional and also the one of the hardest things for me to do. And it took more than an entire day to do all of this and film it for you. So I hope that you enjoy it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And let's go ahead and get into today's declutter video. Now we have face powders. I want to keep my NYX no filter. I really like that. Let's see, what's this guy? The Makeup Forever HD I'm going to keep. This Ofer one I'm going to toss. This is the Mally Beauty um, Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. It's like a gel, and I just, I don't use this. It's really old. I'm going to get rid of that guy. going to get rid of Maybelline Fit Me. going to get rid of my NYX. Oh, I'm going to keep the banana powder. Just kidding. I'm going to keep that guy. Get rid of my Smashbox. This is the Halo to Go powder. I'm going to get rid of my Rev on here and make it. Just don't use it. Definitely going to keep my Chanel Powder Universelle. Going to get rid of my Revlon Color Stay Powder. I'm going to keep my Cover FX Setting Powder. Going to get rid of the Revlon Photo Ready. Is this a bronzer? No, that's a face powder, but I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of my Shiseido Powder too, my M Cosmetics Powder. I'm going to keep my Color Science Pro. This is a powder SPF 50, and I love this stuff, so I'm going to keep that guy. I'm going to get rid of my um, Pan. Actually... I'm going to get rid of my loose banana powder and keep the one in the pan. I don't need both of those. This Rockin' Republic powder I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of my MAC Beauty powder. I literally never use it. I never use any of these powders. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of my Everyday Minerals. Don't ever use them. My Amazing Cosmetics. I never use them. I'm going to get rid of that. This is my MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm going to keep that. And I have this in a couple colors. I'm going to get rid of this guy. Um, this is the Tender Rose Mineral Powder. I'm going to keep that from Laura Mercier. Get rid of this NYX Lavender Powder. Get rid of my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I have drugstore powders that I like better. I'm going to keep my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, and I'm going to... Mm, this is a really nice powder. I'm going to keep my Christian Dior. Um, this is the Dior Skin Nude Powder. I love this stuff. It's like kind of almost hydrating, and so that's kind of perfect for my skin right now. So... Those are the ones I'm going to keep. 
Now we have blush. So I think most of these are cream blushes over here and then powder blushes. I don't know. Let's do these first. These are my NYX ones. I never use these cream blushes, you guys. I'm going to get rid of all of them. Same with the Michael Todd. Here are my NYX powder blushes. Oh, I do love. Is that Where's my favorite one? I love NYX Angel, so I'm going to keep that. And I'm also going to keep NYX Peach. I love that one. Or is it Peach? No, Peach. These NYX, like, flat ones, I don't ever use these. I'm going to donate those. Um, this baked blush, I don't use. My sleek blush, Flamingo and Pixie Pink. These are kind of similar, actually. If you want to check them out, I'll show you guys. I just don't use these ever. I'm going to get rid of those. They're almost, like, too pigmented. They're, like, kind of hard to use. Not, I'm going to get rid of this cream blush by Sleep 2. Two elf blushes I don't use. I'm going to get rid of. Definitely going to keep my Too Faced. These are like some of my favorite blushes of all time, the heart blushes. I'm going to keep my Benefit blushes. I love those. I'm going to keep this gorgeous one from Marc Jacobs. It's like this pretty purple color. Oh, does it not close anymore? Oh, you got to be kidding me. It does not close. Oh, that is a friggin' joke. This doesn't close, you guys. That is so annoying. I'm still keeping it. Uh, let's see, what's in this Laura Mercier one? It's like a pretty peachy color. I think I'll keep that one. This Givenchy one, I love. I'm definitely keeping that. There are some more NYX cream ones. This Boho Chic, I'm keeping. I love that cream blush. Um, let's see what else I have. I'm going to get rid of this MAC Heart one. It was limited edition a while ago. I don't use it. This is the Perfect Cheek. I'm going to keep that color. I love that color. I'm also going to keep this one from MAC. This is Stay Pretty. It's like a pretty, just like everyday pink. I'm going to get rid of this Gorgeous Cosmetics one. I don't like that color. I'm going to keep this one. It's a Glisten. I think everybody probably has that tart blush. Um, all right, then back here, I think I have all my matte cream color bases. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of a lot of these bright colors. I'm going to keep Tickle Me Pink. I'm going to keep Hush. Is this? Oh, no, Improper Copper, and I think this is Pearl. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this guy. Um, I have NARS Desire. I'm going to keep that one. So I don't have anything like it that I'm keeping. And then this is, ooh, this is pretty. This is called Miss Liberty. It looks like a highlight. Yeah, I'm going to keep that guy. Then I think these are all MAC cream blushes. This is in Lady Blush, um, Posy, what is that called? Florida? Tea Petal and So Sweet, So Easy. I'm going to get rid of all those. I'm going to keep all my L'Oreal Visible Lifts. I love these so stinking much. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to put my cream color base, and I'm keeping this Estee Lauder. This was a limited edition, but it is so stinking beautiful. It's like the most beautiful flush, like cream blush ever. I love it. So I'm going to put all my creams back in here. I am going to, this is a YSL one. It's like a moussey, but it's an orange. You guys, I don't use that ever. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep this Milani Bake Blush. Um, I love that. I love Milani Bake Blushes, but I'm going to get rid of Terra Soul. Not a big, actually, let me swatch. It's pretty. I'm going to keep that. I lied. Um, I'm going to get rid of Coralina, though. I'm going to get rid of the Milani Minerals Blush. I'm going to get rid of my Maybelline Dream Bouncy. I don't really like that very much. I'm going to get rid of both these Physicians Formula ones. And this Gemma Kid one, Keep Bella Bamba by Benefit, which I love. I'm going to get rid of this little Benetton I have and my Graftobian blush palette. I don't ever use that. Get rid of this thing by P Pixie and my Everyday Minerals. This color, this Instain, I just don't use. Um, the Down Boy by The Balm, I'm going to keep. Ashley sent that to me. I love it. I'm going to get rid of this Stila one, and I'm going to keep this Milani one in T-Rose. I think these powder blushes, the rose ones, are like so stinking pretty. This is my MAC blush in Pincho Peach. Is this cream? That's pretty. I'm going to keep that guy. This is Makeup. Ooh, that's pretty. Makeup Geek XOXO. I'm going to get rid of this NYX highlighter thing. My MAC Gingerly, you guys. This was the first blush I ever bought from MAC. I, I wore it for my prom. I'm going to keep that. And I think this is Hush. Definitely keeping that. Rain Cosmetics. Ooh, I love this color. And Peep Show. Definitely keeping that. I love that, like, dolly pink color. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now we have bronzers and highlighters, and like I said, anything that I've bought recently is not in here because I want to keep it, and honestly, you know you need to declutter when you're, your makeup collection when you don't want to mix all your new stuff that you love with all the old stuff that you know you don't like half of it. 
So I haven't put it in here yet, but anything you don't see, you'll see in my makeup collection video when I show you the final product. So let's go through bronzers. My Too Faced Endless Summer Bronzer. This is the 16 hour bronzer I'm gonna keep. I love my Dream Sun by Maybelline. I'm gonna keep that. There are a couple of blushes in here, just FYI. I'm gonna keep my Illamasqua blush, my Mineralized Skin Finish. This is the MAC one in Semi Precious Rose Quartz. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna keep this ombre blush. It's so cool. I love that so much. I'm just gonna put these off to the side. Um, okay, we'll go back to bronzers. I don't use my Benefit One Hot Minute anymore. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, this Dior bronzer, I'm definitely gonna keep. I'm gonna get rid of this Laura Geller Baked Bronzer. Actually. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. The NYX Matte Bronzer, I'm gonna keep. That looks really pretty. NARS Laguna, you guys see how much damage? I'm gonna keep that until I run out. Pink Leopard, I'm gonna get rid of. I think this is another 16 hour. Oh no, it's not, but it's really shimmery. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm gonna get rid of my MUA. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Cream I'm going to get rid of. And this is the Blush and Bronzer. Also going to get rid of that. NYX Illuminating Bronzer. That's not a bronzer. That's like totally a highlighter. I don't know why they call it Illuminating Bronzer, but it's a pretty highlight. It's not great, though. I'm going to toss that. This is a mini NARS Laguna, which I'm actually going to keep that because I'm almost out of that NARS Laguna, as you saw. And girl doesn't want to buy another one when she runs out, so... We'll just keep that little mini. I think it'll be fine, especially if you're using like a big brush with it. Gonna get rid of my G Way bronzer. I never use this makeup academy one. Oh, this is the NARS. This goes in with face powders. I like this. It's like a what did they call this? It's called like light reflecting setting powder. It's translucent. It's really interesting. So I'm gonna keep that. Kind of dig that. I have my Clinique. What is this? Uh, it's a highlight. I don't like that. I'm going to get rid of my Gemma Kid. I think this is, what, Dewy Glow. Oh, I love this, though. It's still good. As I drop it everywhere. Oh, my gosh, Abby. This is still good. I'm going to keep this, actually. I love that. I'm going to, let's see what I want to do with this. This Smashbox one is pretty. It's in Soft Light Shimmer, and I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm going to keep my Chanel Soleil 10 Day Chanel. You guys know I love that so much. This is from the Top Shop, and it's actually a really insanely pigmented, beautiful highlighter that I haven't used because it's been in here hiding, so I'm definitely going to keep that guy. I think that's so. I want to use that ASAP. I'm going to get rid of my CoverGirl True Magic. I don't use that. Um, this Stila thing, you guys, it's too dark for me. This is so dark. I just bought this, but I won't use this. This is the medium one, and I just won't use it. I'm going to get rid of this Physician's Formula. Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick, I'm going to keep. I'm going to get rid of my Tarte Park Ave Princess. These um, Maybelline Glaze Stick Things. This, this is a NARS multiple that's really old. I'm going to get rid of this Revolution Highlighter I don't use. Same thing with these. This NYX Liquid Illuminator I'm going to get rid of. Um, I'm going to keep my Benefit High Beam because I like that guy. I'm going to get rid of my Bombshell. This is like a color stick. Just never use that. This is so old by Josie Marin. I'm gonna get rid of that. And then these M Cosmetic sticks. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's the deep one because I don't use it. But I really like the light one. It's really pretty. You can see on this side how much I've used it. I do really like that. And I don't have very much cream contour, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna get rid of this Laura Geller blush that I never use. I love this Mac Mineralized Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle. It's like so stinking beautiful. So I'm going to keep that guy, the NARS, oh yeah, this blush, it's just so pigmented, I just, I'll keep it, I'll keep it, but I might, might be getting rid of that soon, going to get rid of this Smashbox thing, going to keep this Dior blush, it's really pretty, it's like a bronzer and blush, this Lily Lolo color, I don't know that I have anything like it, I'm going to keep this Lily Lolo color because I like it, all right, that is bronzers guys holy cow i can't believe we did that okay now we have blush palettes and you guys i have not opened this drawer in so long so i'm really going to be critical with it because i have not even looked in here so my hourglass ambient light definitely a stay city color blush quad is going i have not opened this in about a million years it's oh it's like all dried out it's like not very good anymore i'm gonna get rid of that guy this is, I think this is an eyeshadow palette. What is it? What is this doing in there? Yeah, we're going to save that for eyeshadows. My Glamorous Blush Palette by BH Cosmetics, I'm going to get rid of. I 
never use them. Definitely going to keep my NARS eyeshadow palette. I love this thing so much. This is the Dan Mari palette. I'm going to keep that. Going to get rid of my e.l.f. blush palette. Definitely going to keep my Becca Afterglow palette. Going to keep my Urban Decay Naked Flush, which I love. I'm going to, let's see. Oh, it's over there. I'm going to get rid of that. I never use that. And then this Mally. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to get rid of this one. Graftobian foundation palette, never use it and it's broken. And then this is like a shimmer powder that I don't know like why I have it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. 